In semiconductor, the conduction band electron and valence band hole participate in electrical conduction. To obtain expression for electrical conductivity, consider an intrinsic semiconductor bar which is connected to external battery as shown in figure number 4. Let us consider a sample of semiconductor across which a DC voltage source is connected. If a potential difference is applied across semiconductor, it generates an electric field. This causes electrons to move towards the positive terminal and holes towards the negative terminal of the source. So as shown in this figure, capital L is a length, capital A is a cross-sectional area, capital V is applied potential difference, capital E is electrical field generated, capital I is total current. Capital I subscript small e is the current due to electrons drifting in the conduction band. Capital I subscript small h is current due to holes drifting in the valence band. Small v subscript small e is drift velocities of electrons. Small v subscript small h is the drift velocities of holes. Small n subscript small e is concentrations of electrons and small n subscript small h is the concentration of holes. As shown in this diagram, the current due to the electrons is shown in red color with the arrows that is capital I subscript E whereas the current due to the holes which is shown with the green arrows which is I subscript H. So total current capital I is equal to capital I subscript E plus capital I subscript H. So total current is the current due to the electrons plus current due to the holes. Therefore the electric field exists along X direction. The field accelerates electrons that is conduction electrons along negative X direction and holes along positive X direction. They starts moving with a constant velocity which is called as a drift velocity. Therefore, the current due to the electrons is shown in red equation. Capital I subscript small e is equal to small n subscript small e into small e into capital A into small v subscript small e. Let's say this is equation number 1. Now the current due to the holes which is shown in green equation capital I subscript small h is equal to small n subscript small h into small e into capital A into small v subscript small h. Let's say this is equation number 2. Hence total current in the semiconductor due to both electron and hole can be written as I is equal to I e plus I h. Let's say this is equation number 3. By simply putting the values of equation number 1 and 2 in equation number 3, we can write I is equal to N E E A V E plus N H E A V H. So I is equal to E A in bracket N E V E plus N H V H. Let's say this is equation number 4. Now if mu E and mu H are the mobilities of electron and holes, hence mu E is equal to V E upon capital E and mu h is equal to v h upon capital E. Therefore, v e is equal to mu e into capital E. Let's say this is equation number 5 and v h is equal to mu h into capital E. Let's say this is equation number 6. Therefore, the total current capital I is equal to E capital A in bracket N E V E plus N H V H. Now simply by putting the values of V E and V H from equation number 5 and 6, we can try it. I is equal to small e into capital A in bracket N E mu E into capital E plus N H mu H into capital E bracket complete. Therefore, I is equal to by simply taking common capital E outside the bracket, we can try it. I is equal to small e into capital A into capital E in bracket N E mu E plus N H mu H bracket complete. Let's say this is equation number 7. Therefore, the total current density capital J is given by capital J is equal to capital I upon capital A, where capital A is a cross-sectional area of the sample or the semiconductor. Therefore, capital J is equal to capital I upon capital A. By simply putting the value of current, that is capital I, we can write 
small e into capital A into capital E in bracket N E mu E plus N H mu H bracket complete divided by capital A. So capital A capital A will get cancelled. So we can write capital J is equal to small e into capital E in bracket N E mu E plus N H mu H. Let's say this is equation number 8. If sigma is the total conductivity then capital J is equal to sigma into capital E. Let's say this is equation number 9. Now computing the equation number 8 and 9 we can write sigma is equal to small e in bracket and e mu e plus nh mu h bracket complete. Let's say this is equation number 10. This expression equation number 10 gives the electrical conductivity of a typical semiconductor. In general it is linked to the variation of mobility with temperature is too small and the large variation in electrical conductivity is because of large variation of electron concentration with temperature. Now let's see case A intrinsic semiconductor. For an intrinsic semiconductor the concentration of electrons and holes is equal thus Ne is equal to NH is equal to Ni. N I stands for the concentration in intrinsic semiconductor. Thus, the conductivity of intrinsic semiconductor we can write sigma I is equal to E N I in bracket mu E plus mu H. Let's say this is equation number 11. Now, let's see case B N type semiconductor. The concentration of electrons is much greater than the concentration of holes in n-type semiconductor. Therefore, Ne is very much greater than NH. The majority of charge carriers are electrons and the contribution of holes is neglected due to very small value. Therefore, the conductivity of n-type semiconductor can be written as sigma E is equal to E and E mu E. Let's say this is equation number 12. Now let's see the case C for the P type semiconductor. The concentration of hole is much greater than the concentration of electrons. Therefore, Ne is very very small than NH. The majority charge carriers are holes and the concentration of electrons is neglected due to very small value. Thus, the conductivity of P type semiconductor is sigma H is equal to E and H mu H. Let's say this is equation number 13.